Along your journey in prostate cancer, you will likely have some type of radiographs done. And every urologist and every treating physician is different with regards to what they may order. But there are four different types of x-rays that you need to know about. The first is what's called CT scan or CAT scan. CAT scan is useful for looking at soft tissues in the body. It's not going to identify your specific cancer, but the goal of CAT scan is to look for lymph nodes that are enlarged, possibly spread of bone metastases or, or spread of cancer from the prostate into the bones, um, and then also looking at the soft tissues of the pelvis and the abdomen. This will often miss lymph nodes, bone metastases, and other abnormalities. It's great for certain things, but for, but for prostate cancer, it's an adequate staging x-ray. Certainly there's better x-rays out now that are better than CT scan, but this is still often done to get a baseline of your stage of prostate cancer. The next x-ray is what's called a bone scan. A bone scan is where you're given a nuclear tracer in the vein. And the bones are imaged to see what in the bones is, or if the bones are actually uptaking this nuclear tracer. And so the bone scan is useful in finding bone metastases or spread of cancer from prostate tissue to the bones. That's what that bone scan is useful for. The third x-ray is MRI. This is a, this is a x-ray that is, that it looks specifically at that prostate gland. It can show you cancerous lesions within the prostate. It can show you the location of these cancerous lesions. Is it close to the seminal vesicles? Is it extending outside of the capsule of the prostate? Is the cancer close to the, to the neurovascular bundle that affects the erections either after radiation or surgery. So MRI is something that is done. And the last image that is done is also called, is called PET scan, positron emission tomography. And what that is, is again, you're, giving a, you're given a nuclear tracer. You're given a tracer that is taken up specifically by these prostate cancer cells. And so with imaging, these cancer cells light up and you're able to see these cancer cells easier than you would with just a basic CT scan. One of the newer PET scans out now is called PSMA PET scan. It's not available everywhere, but it's becoming increasingly, increasingly more sensitive to picking up small volume prostate cancers that are not found on traditional x-rays. So, if you have prostate cancer, you may have one or many of these different x-rays and the goal of which is just to stage your prostate cancer to see is this cancer just in the prostate or has it spread elsewhere outside of the prostate gland to other areas of the body.